Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is the second week of Future Stars coming today inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Future Stars Team 2 is here. Of course, we already know who the team is going to be because of the leaks, but this loading screen here confirms those leaks again to be true. And it looks like also by that loading screen, Team 2 might be really really juice today so we're excited to take a look at that i want to talk you through how i think today on friday content wise is going to go of course we have team two coming into packs we have foot future star swaps rewards finally coming out today you will be able to to turn in your swap tokens for that 85 plus times 10 pack that so many people are going to be attaining today and probably opening as well. So I'm going to talk about how that's going to impact the market and then other SBC and objective related content that we might see because again, the content's been rolling really, really consistently through this past couple of weeks, especially this last week of future stars. And uh, there's a lot of leaks still out there as well. So what content might we see today? We'll kind of talk through that. And of course, talk through all the madness that is going on in this game right now with, with division rivals rewards those still not being released as of right now when i'm recording this ea talking about that and also we have the first little bit of information i'm sure some of you guys are curious uh because you maybe have seen some stuff on twitter but heroes there's evidently hero upgrades new versions of heroes that are coming not today but later on so we'll talk about that just a little bit at the end of the video but if you're excited for future stars team two today which i am because these cards look like they could be even better than team one in my opinion smash your thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new so let's start from the top future stars team two is this team right here these are not the you know guaranteed stats these are not the guaranteed ratings on the loading screen it shows a wolfsburg player that is 100 lacroix on this concept, he's an 88 rated side, right? Or an 88 rated card. This is a prediction, right? With just predicted stats. But we know that Lacroix is a 90 rated item. Florian Wirtz is on the loading screen as a 91 rated item. Graven Birch on the loading screen shows 85 defense. He's got 84 in this prediction. So, I mean, there's going to be some really dope cards that come out as a part of this team today. One, I guess, not scary, but just puzzling thing is that we don't see Pedri kind of shown and, you know, I guess teased on the loading screen, but Pedri is supposed to be a part of the team today, unless EA made some crazy last second change and the leaks are incorrect. Pedri is going to be a part of the team today. That's a special card that a lot of people are very, very, very interested in. Now, when it comes down to this team, again, the cards that you saw leaked on the loading screen, well, the cards you have leaked here and the cards shown on that loading screen, what it really comes down to with this squad of players for me is Weak foot and skill move upgrades, right? For guys like Florian Wirtz, for guys like Daka, you know, even Lacroix, giving him a weak foot boost would help his card out so much. Uh, and some of these other lower tier cards, you know, maybe Nunez, maybe Raspadori. I think he already has a five-star weak foot, but you upgrade his skills to four-star. Or maybe you upgrade Pe Pedri to five-star weak foot or five-star skills or, or Wirtz getting a skill move or weak foot upgrade, right? That's where I think the hype is going to come with this team too today. We had a lot of skill move weak foot upgrades in team one. Smith Rowe, Vlahovic, just to name a quick two. I really hope today they continue that with team two of future stars with some of those. So this is the team we're expecting to see today. Again, these players, not these confirmed stats, should be in packs today at 6 p.m. All of them, right? All of those players should be in packs. Now you might be asking, what about the secondary versions? of Ferran Torres, Elmas, and Tomiyasu. These cards are not in packs until Sunday. And the 92 striker Ferran Torres, the CDM Elmas, and the right back Tomiyasu, those go out of packs today with Team 1 leaving packs. So does the striker Ferran Torres and, and those top three cards that you see there. The bottom three, the, those position changes will come into packs on Sunday. So just so that that is clear, that is out there. That's how the packs are going to work today with what's going to be in packs now speaking of in packs pack weight right I, I would assume that the pack weight for future stars team number two is going to be just around the same as pack weight was for team number one 10 percent as of right now from a 100k pack that's about what it was last friday as well i would assume that it's going to stay right around that same mark for the future stars team number two wouldn't expect a lot to change there of course lightning rounds today 50k 100k 125k lightning rounds they didn't do like the 85 or 86 plus star lightning rounds last week i really don't expect them to do it this week as well so i think they'll be pretty consistent as they were last week 
Now let's talk about SBCs because there's a lot of leaked content still. You got an R9 SBC. You've got a flashback Gareth Bale that a lot of people are still talking about. You have a potential Future Stars Genduzzi or, you know, all those Marseille players that are still leaked that we have not seen yet. I think today will be very interesting to see how EA does the SBC content. We have a lot of future star players. And actually, if you remember earlier on this week, they did another one of the talent scouts. Uh, and Arthur Cabral was what was re released last Friday for Future Stars Team 1. We might have another talent scout winner SBC today for a right winger from the from Germany. So a German right wing SBC might be what we have today, either today or tomorrow, I would imagine. So just keep an eye out for that. Usually on Fridays, EA don't go too crazy with SBC content. There's so many cards that are out already. So many player picks. Um, you've got the reunion player pick that it was, was repeatable for a second time uh, yesterday. You've got still a mid or prime icon upgrade that is repeatable for most people. Uh, if you have already done it once like I have, you can still do it again. You, you were able to do this Future Stars reunion player pick again yesterday. And we're going to talk about SBCs a, a little bit more here in a second. But for a player SBC today, I think we'll might, we might get the second talent scout winner SBC. Of course, this one expires. Cabral expires. And the new one will probably come in today. Again, maybe a small chance for a Ganduzi or a Bale or any of those other leaked Future Star SBCs. But I think the talent scout winner might be the one that we get. And then objectives, right? We have a couple more leaks for new um, Future Stars Academy players. Of course, we've had Shaloba. It's out for a long time, but I think we still have two more of these that we're expected to get as a part of the Future Stars promo from the leaks that we have had during this past week. Now, the first one is Amin, Amin Guri. Not sure on the position for this, as it says here in the leak. Um, he's actually up for the running in the League on Player of the Month against Ben Yedder, so it'll be interesting to see if he does win this and if he is put out in this game. Uh, but Guri is an, is an SBC, sorry, not an SBC, an objective for a Future Stars Academy player that we could have. And then also we have Chukweze, who has still not been released, but is leaked as an Academy player. So either of those coming today would be very interesting. I do expect to see another Future Stars Academy objective. Um, I guess they could throw some other random objective inside of here, but I would imagine... Um, they would drop another one of those academy players. So that's kind of going to be your content for objectives, SBCs, and stuff in packs. Now, it's very interesting because also today on Friday, we have another aspect of content to talk about, and that is the Future Star Swap Rewards. They will be dropping today. As you can see, it says redeem your swap tokens starting February 11th. And as of right now, there are 20, yes, 20 tokens available. So... The main most popular pick from those 20 tokens that are going to be have been available so far is definitely going to be that 85 plus times 10 pack. I'm going to be claiming that pack this weekend. And a lot of people have already got 15 plus tokens um, out of the 20 that have been released, I believe. And they're going to be opening this pack today. Now, where are you going to be able to get these, right? These swap rewards, just like we have for all the other swap rewards, are going to be most likely found under the swaps tab. Now, they're not here right now, of course. All you have are these FGS swaps, but you're going to see these pop up under that swaps tab in SBCs today, and that's where you're going to be able to turn in to turn in your swap tokens for these rewards. It'll just be like icon swaps, just like winter wildcard swaps. And again, that 85 plus times 10 pack today, that's what I really want to talk about here for just a second, because um, that's going to impact the market a lot. But first, before we do that, there's a little bit of code that was added to the database, and I want to show you guys uh, this as well, just so that you are aware of what's going on and you're, you're not, um, you know, super surprised and like, Nate, there's a guaranteed Future Stars pack in the code. There is, right? Future Stars Team 1 pack. It guarantees one Future Stars player from Team 1. Now, I don't think this is going to be an SBC today. I really think what this is, is the 12 token uh, redemption reward for the future star swaps. As you can see, 12 tokens. One of the options, there is a future stars team one pack. So if you are grinding for that 12 token reward, that is the pack. And I think that's what's being added to the code right there. Uh, from that foot watch tweet is that pack right there. So no need to panic. I saw some people like, Oh my goodness, they're going to drop a, an SBC for a guaranteed player from future stars team one. Well, now that pack is in the code technically, and they could do that maybe this next week, I, I guess if they wanted to, um, but that I think specific pack relates to this, especially if it was dropped 
just a couple hours ago heading into Friday when this is going to be released. So that's kind of what I think about that. But again, I think the 85 plus times 10, if you know, it's been pretty easy to attain 15 tokens. I'm almost there. Uh, and 15 tokens with that 85 times 10 is going to be what everybody goes for today on this game. Now, what's that going to do? It's going to supply a lot of fodder into people's clubs untradeable. And one thing we know about fodder right now is it's pretty high. Fodder is pretty high at the moment, but it dropped off a little bit yesterday in some areas because the, the Thursday content yesterday was not that good. So, you know, you know, a guy like Harry Kane earlier in the week was like high 40s, right? He was like 48, 49,000 coins. Now he's down to 44,000 coins. And as we take a look at fodder as a whole, Yes, you have some areas of it that are up, like 85s are 11K a piece. 86s are still high, 17 to 18,000 coins. 88s, you know, 29, 30,000 coins a piece. What I would really um, encourage you to do is if, you know, knowing that you're going to have a lot of people opening 85 plus times 10s today on this game, and also knowing that there are so many SBCs that are available to do. Flippin is having some issues right now, by the way. So I'm trying not to click around too much on it. Like the servers on Flippin are down when I'm recording this. So that's just kind of a weird thing. But there's so many SBCs that are available right now. Like the, the mid or prime upgrade, the reunion player pick, as we talked about. So many great Future Stars player SBCs. The Varan SBC is still available. If people have not crafted that player SBC, people are going to be getting so many uh, again, 85 plus rated players, that's going to make them want to go out and do SBCs like the ones we just mentioned. And I really think what that's going to do today is make people want to go out and finish off SBCs that they maybe haven't done. Maybe it's William Saliba. So I would be very careful dealing with French center backs or center backs in total on this game today, because I think a lot of people will do this card or find a reason to do SBCs today with the extra fodder that they get. So if you're wanting to watch the market on SBC fodder today, what I would really say to do is during that first lightning round, or even as we head into today on the 6 p.m. time uh, frame when this stuff drops, watch SBC fodder prices. We had this before during winter wild cards where fodder dropped with everybody opening their 85 plus times 10, even though those aren't tradable, you have lightning round packs going on at the same time people are not buying fodder off the market because they're out opening those packs. And what you see is fodder drops off for like the first half an hour or an hour. And then after that, it explodes, right? Because people open those 85 times 10s and they go out and they start doing SBCs with the other coins that they have gotten. And with this mid prime, with the reunion player pick available, uh, the mid icon upgrade repeatable is still here. Player of the month, Raheem Sterling is still that. There's a lot of SBCs, even still some from team of the year that are still out, the De Gea player SBC, the, the Kane, the party bag is still available. It expires in two days if people have not you know, done that. Giroud is still available, right? There's tons of SBCs that are out right now for people to do. Um, that's where I think people are gonna go out onto this tab and do SBCs today. So I think Fodder really has an opportunity to bounce back a lot higher, unless EA does something crazy with like preview packs or supply today. I think fodder has a big chance of bouncing higher later uh, after the, the content and the promo drop tonight. So if there's a big drop off in fodder leading up to 6 p.m. or even in that first hour, that could be a trading maneuver for you is to maybe buy some of that or stock your club and just watch out for that movement on the market. Now, for the rest of the market in general, with a lot of that emphasis on the 85 plus times 10 um, and maybe packing some of the brand new future stars items, you know, people are still going to be excited about the new cards that are coming out today. Just like last week, you're going to have some fluctuations on the brand new cards. If you guys remember last week, like uh, Chalmany's future, uh, future stars item went from like 1.4 million coins, to like 1.6 within the first hour. You had cards like uh, Konate, Konate went down to like 390k and then exploded over 500,000 coins. Of course, now they are way cheaper, right? Konate is like 280k, but you had those crazy fluctuations. You're going to have more of those today. You're going to have more of those crazy fluctuations as people are out on the market wanting to buy, sell these brand new cards that dropped today when the Future Stars team number two. So that's going to be a way you can trade. But also just kind of take note of if everybody's out doing SBCs, what is that going to do to like the most popular cards that are on this game? I mean, you could see some prices dropping today after the content drop, depending on what is out there, because everybody is going to be focused on the SBCs. But then again, if you if you make uh, note of again, what the, like this Ganduzi card is down so much because everybody expects him to get an SBC. If he does not get an SBC today, people that go out, maybe get their 85 times 10, 
do the mid or prime SBC, you know, lose a few coins, but still have to go out and play weekend league. There's still is going to be a lot of demand for the weekend league and for very popular and meta players. So I think it should be a very good day to trade with a lot of fluctuations. I do expect cards in packs um, to drop a little bit. You know, maybe some of your gold cards like Neymar, maybe even Mbappe a little bit. You usually see some drops uh, on days like this where people open up lightning round packs and these cards just get supplied purely from the lightning round packs. Uh, I think you'll see some of those drop today, but I, I think you'll see some of them rebound back as well. So just kind of keep an eye out there for, again, if you're looking to like maybe buy a Neymar on the low today, Keep an eye on his price in the first 30 minutes to an hour. See if he drops down a lot and then maybe he rebounds back up a little bit later. Just something like that is an example. Um, and yeah, I'm just that 85 times 10 is going to be a big, big pack. Now, personally, I'm going to save my 85 times 10 until the mini release is out. And also, I, I'm on like 13 tokens right now. So I'd have to kind of sweat it out. Uh, and get one more and then open it. I'm just going to wait until the, the second version of Ferran Torres, Elmas, and Tomiyasu were out in packs. Just because, you know, you never know having those three extra players out there. If I end up packing one of them, then I'll wait my couple days. I'm not in a hurry to get any SBCs done. And especially over, you know, Saturday or Sunday, if they do release more SBCs that I would maybe want to go and do and have a, you know, a higher desire to complete, then I don't want to have that fodder sitting in my unassigned and not being used uh, you know, for two days before then I'd rather open it when maybe there's more content out that I would maybe want to interact with. So that's kind of my thought process. I'm going to wait to open it until Sunday, but I know a lot of people are not going to be able to wait to do that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for that side of the market today. Icons are going to be a very interesting place uh, to trade with as well as they always are. You know, your normal promo Friday items, right? The future stars team one. I want to speak on these cards for just a second as well. A lot of these uh, dropped yesterday because of the marquee matchup supply. And I think people also, you know, just getting ready for what the big day today is. But specifically that marquee matchups uh, pack supply dropped these cards. You know, Konate was down at 260. He's up a bit. You had guys like... Um, you know, Smith Rowe was down at 610,000 coins. He's back up. Vlahovic is 525. He is pretty cheap right now. So, you know, you've seen some of these cards drop off even more in price. I do think some of them could rise a little bit after this weekend. But what I would say is for most of them, like a Bellingham, I'm a little scared of today because we're getting two big time midfielders in Pedri and in Gravenberge. And even, even Florian Wirtz is a pretty good, pretty big midfield card. Uh, you, you know, a Bellingham like that could drop off today or a Chalmany could potentially drop off today. So I'm keeping an eye on a lot of the players that are in this team. And I do think that some of them will have rebounds after this weekend. Um, but I would wait and see what the content is, see how this game goes down today, how the market reacts to Future Stars Team 2, then maybe pull the trigger if you haven't already um, on some of these cards it, to see them potentially rise a bit uh, out of packs. Now, Let's talk about what happened yesterday, just for a little bit at the end of this video, because there was some absolutely mental stuff that went on yesterday on Thursday. And I know a lot of you guys are still asking, where in the world are my division rivals rewards? Uh, this could impact the market a little bit today. If EA end up fixing this, that's going to be a lot of people that get rewards and get more cards in their club, whether it's opening tradable packs, getting some coins from that, or opening untradable packs from rivals and getting more fodder into their club. You know, keep an eye on this because, you know, when EA tweets out that they've got a fix, I think they're going to end up giving some people packs back. And they just said a couple hours ago, our teams are continuing to investigate this issue and pro we'll provide further updates when available. Um, but if you guys were not aware, EA has stopped Division Rivals rewards, gifting and rewards given out because there was an issue with them where people were like claiming them on repeat and you had an unlimited number of like people were going in and refreshing the web app and claiming their Division Rivals rewards 10, 20, 30 times in a row and getting a ton of coins and a ton of packs. Um, and that was the big issue with this yesterday. So this is shut down for right now. We'll see what EA does, but that could also impact the market and impact fodder a little bit today and how people do SBCs if a lot of those packs are given back, right? Some people open their rewards, but the packs didn't have guaranteed ratings like 83 or 84 plus in some of the 50K and 100K packs. So we'll see what EA do with this, but that could be more packs being opened, more supply and more fodder in people's clubs. So just keep an eye out for that as well. And then if you're seeing heroes being talked about this is a really big piece of information that we've been waiting for for a long time 
EA is finally going to be upgrading some hero cards in this game. So if you've seen like Ginola is down over 100,000 coins, his card has gone from um, about 1 million coins all the way down to 910K. I don't think this price is going to be sustainable uh, because I honestly think there's a lot of panic selling here and I don't think it's going to last because this is these, you know, like they're not getting new hero cards tomorrow or today. These hero cards are coming after this future stars promo until after future stars team two right the next promo is called foot captains evidently and there are hero cards that were captains for club or country that will be getting some upgrades right again they say these are new cards by the way separate to the old hero versions that's why people are panic selling some of these right now right so like they're like oh my goodness ginola is going to get a new card with better stats maybe a different position so people are selling this ginola card people are selling some of the other heroes um and that's why you're seeing some of this stuff go down, but it also seems like, uh, you know, this is not going to be for another week or two. So I don't think this panic selling right now is really warranted, but since that leak is out there, people have already started preparing. They've already started thinking about it and stuff like that. So that's why these cards are going down on the market. Now we're going to do a lot more talking about this subject in the next coming days. We're going to keep a close eye on that and if there's more information released about those foot captains or those new versions of hero cards some of the heroes aren't down at all as well because uh technically when the new versions would come into packs uh like let's say you know di natale might get a new version he really hasn't dropped because people are like okay there's no reason to sell here because if di natale is getting another version that means this one's going to go out of packs but then when the new version uh comes out uh you know then that one will be in packs and this one won't be. So that's why people aren't panic selling right now. But we don't understand fully how this promo is going to look um, with those new foot captain cards. So just stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, just I really wouldn't panic sell any of these right now because it's still a week away. And until we figure out some more information, it's really not worth it, especially if it's a card that is one of your favorites that is in your team. So that's kind of everything related to future stars today on this game i know there's a lot that we just went through new cards and packs the swap rewards are finally going to be redeemable a lot of 85 plus times tens opened today i'm saving mine for sunday new sbcs new objectives it's going to be a crazy friday on fifa if you want to watch it and interact and see all this happen live with us make sure you check the twitch.tv link down below in the description i'll be live there streaming and getting ready for the big day of content today on friday as it does unfold so if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new happy future stars team too it's going to be a banging promo for the second week in a row i'm excited to see all the content that ea release and i hope you all pack something sick from your 85 plus times tens all right boys it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace